Police have arrested a man accused of burning a woman seemingly at random. This happened yesterday morning in the Garment District. CBS News John Diaz is there live. And John, he may have carried out more attacks. Yeah, good afternoon to you too, Mary. Yeah, that's indeed, that's what the NYPD right now is actively investigating. But this is not your typical assault case for the NYPD. This one involving a victim, a suspect, and a cup of hot water. Let's get right out here to this video. Take a look at your screen. In this video, you can see the man, please say the NYPD pickpocket squad arrested 42-year-old Larry Martin of Queens. Now, please say that these officers recognize him from a wanted poster, and we are showing video. And pictures of him because he may be connected to other similar crimes that may uh, not have been reported. Now, detectives are accusing him of committing an unprovoked assault on a 27 year old woman yesterday around 8 30 in the morning as the victim was walking near West 35th Street and 8th Avenue. Now, please say that Martin, who is a stranger to this victim, intentionally threw a cup of hot water all over her. She's expected to be okay, but was treated at a facility for minor injuries. Now, police suspect Martin committed similar hot water attacks on two other women in the area on different days, so they're actively investigating. New Yorkers we spoke with say things like this paint a bad picture of the city. I think that that's appalling, and uh, it gives the city a bad name. If she's a tourist, she probably won't come back again. People with these bad intentions, yeah, we definitely need to increase the security we got or maybe look out after the people that we got, you know, yeah. take care of their mental health. Now here's another look at Martin. Again, we are showing it because he may be connected to even more crimes. Please say that if you know of any information to give them a call, but we can tell you that he is already being charged with one count of assault. For now, we are live this afternoon from the Garment District. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. John, thank you.